Right, and welcome uh, to your session on uh, these things here. Uh, multimeter. Okay, can run you through these little babies. Now then, multimeter is a uh, universal measuring instrument, hence the word multi, and uh, it can measure a ton of uh, different values. Okay, it can measure voltage, current, uh, continuity, that's point-to-point uh, -point checks, okay, to make sure that you've got connections. Um, it can measure resistances, it can measure diodes, and in this case, uh, it can measure, for this meter, it can also measure capacitance, it can also measure frequency, okay. This meter, there we go, you see that one? Uh, does more or less the same functions as the other meter, except this one, okay, can also measure, instead of measuring uh, frequency and uh, capacitance, this one can measure uh, transistor gain, okay, HFV of transistors. Now you might wonder why, what's the point in having two dissimilar multimeters? Well, I just explained it. Not all multimeters uh, measure the same things, okay? Some can measure capacitances and frequencies, other ones can measure uh, transistor gain. Uh, you've got other ones out there that can measure inductances, that can measure temperature as well. Okay, and the um, reason for that being is it all boils down to these are portable instruments, okay? They all contain uh, MCUs, uh, microprocessors. Okay, they do all the uh, converting from your but well, essentially a microprocessor is a, an, an A to D. Okay, that's all they is. It's a glorified A to D. They call them MC using these, but it's an A to D. What they do is convert uh, your analog into digital. And in order to do that, you've got to upload the uh, digital into memory. And depending on how much memory you've got, how good the processor is, um, that determines what functions they can do. Okay, and some people you yeah, like to use that bit of uh, power to do. Uh, measuring capacitances and things like that, and think that that's going to be useful. Other ones decide to do transistors. Okay, so that's your multimeter, universal measuring units. Okay, some multimeters work better than others, and ultimately that comes down to cost. Okay, our cheap multimeter, it's not going to work particularly well. It all maybe work for a year or two. It's not going to be very robust. Uh, it's going to fail pretty quickly. Okay, I wouldn't expect it to last too long. Buy a nice expensive one, okay, and it will last you a lifetime, just like this, okay. Got a fluke multimeters, okay, that's what they're using, that's what we use in the lab, and um, they're very robust, okay, very robust, very accurate. Same goes for these ones, these are Beckman's, okay, Beckman Industry, and uh, same thing, they're quite accurate, not as robust, okay. If you drop them, they probably will break eventually, unlike the flukes, you can chuck them across the room and they'll still survive, but uh, as for the age of these, these are what, 15 years old and uh, they're still going strong, okay, there's absolutely nothing wrong with these, and uh, believe it or not, a lot of these are still within their calibration, same with these flukes, we've had those about 5 years, and uh, they're still going strong, brilliant, you pay for what you get, okay, now then, that's our saying, a multimeter measures all different things, uh, but believe it or not, a multimeter only measures one measurement, okay, and that's voltage. Okay, so in our multimeter, we've got our uh, uh, ADC, and we put our analog in, we get our digital out. Done. Digital out gets uh, say dumped into some memory, which then goes down into our MCU, which we do all our coding with, and it chucks it out onto a LCD display. That's all that it really is. It's nothing special about a multimeter. It's a very simple piece of kit, and everything is done in your program that you write store on your uh, processor. It's a simple thing and it, all it does is it measures voltages, okay? It's the first thing you have to re realise, okay? 
even though it's got some icon here for measuring currents, the current is actually measured in the voltage. You've got a resistance measurement. The resistance is actually measured as a voltage on the meter. <laughs> okay, everything's done in done in volts. Okay, that's the first thing they have to remember. Okay, uh, obviously, if you're measuring volts, it's a direct input. So you've got your your ADC, you've got your input lines, say A0, A1, and between these you've got a potential that you convert into your digital coming out. Okay, so you've got A0, A1, and a D1 coming out. It's your digital word representing what this analog is. Okay, the speed at which it does that is determined by your clock. That's quite important. I'll be talking about that when we're talking about measuring AC voltages and AC currents, and why multimeters are pence at uh, measuring AC. So there we have it. It's just it's ADC. That's what it is. That's what you need to wire up as voltage. Okay, so. First things first, how does it measure a voltage? Well, it's an ADC, it measures it directly, it's a potential between two points. Done. Current, on the other hand, well, current, we go back to our program that we run on our multimeter, and essentially, okay, how we work out current, it's been around all these years, it's been around hundreds of years, okay? And it's the first thing that you actually learn on uh, doing electronic engineering. It is uh, this. You know what that is? Ohm's law. Hey. V I R. And everybody show know what that is? The B I R triangle. That's all that's programmed into your uh, MCU. You've got some other calculations which you might want to program into there, but if we want to measure current, we're actually measuring the voltage across a resistor, and the resistor is what we call a shunt resistor inside the multimeter. So if you're actually measuring current, your two probes in your multimeter, okay, that's probe, this is common, that's uh, amps, okay. Internally, we're actually measuring a uh, a voltage across a resistor. So this is what's in series with your uh, circuit. Okay, you actually put a shunt resistor in series with your circuit. When you break it, you put a resistor in there. It's a little, little tiny one. You're actually measuring a voltage across a resistor. Simple. Okay, and there's things like that which you just do tricks with a uh, basic surgical tree for measuring current is just a resistor. For measuring resistances, resistances don't give you any voltage, so don't give you any current. How does that work? Well, a multimeter is battery powered, it supplies its own power. And uh, I believe the first uh, experiment that you do in the lab is the uh, potential divider experiment. Okay, or well, well, you may not be doing that when you now, but we used to. And your potential divider. So it looks something uh, like that. You got R1, R2. You get voltages dropped across both. Well, in the multimeter, your two terminals are here, and this goes off to your uh, resistor, where you connect externally. So inside the meter you have got this, you've got a fixed voltage, you have a fixed resistance, okay, voltage drops are a ratio, okay, you know what, which are uh, proportional to the ratio of resistors, okay, you know what that resistor is, you know the voltage drop across that, Again, it's we're measuring V. You know the voltage that you're inputting, that is V in, that's V1. All that you're doing here when you're plugging in your um, resistor is that you're measuring the voltage here as well. You're actually measuring voltage drops. And if it's a ratio, you know this resistor, which is say a 1K, 
it's going to be a 1 to whatever ratio. Therefore, this is going to be a ratio of whatever this is to whatever this is. You can make a, a, a voltage measurement of the equivalent voltage measurement of the resistance. It's the simple devices, okay? So, multimeters only measure voltage. Now then, we know all about multimeters. They use universal instruments, the voltage measurement devices, okay? They do some funky circuitry inside them and some tricks in order to measure other values like current and voltages. Same goes for measuring capacitances, diodes, etc. You want to measure the forward bias characteristics of a diode. What's the circuit? It's a uh, so power source, a resistor, two terminals for your diode. You slap your diode in here. Okay, resistor in there to get rid of any extra power so you don't over overload your uh, diode that you're testing. All you do is you're just measuring the voltage across a diode. There's nothing <laughs> amazing about it, you know. Again, voltage measurements and measuring diodes. Yeah. And uh, I believe that's the you'll be doing that as one of your experiments is when you're testing diodes. Okay. So, uh, how do you actually hook up? a multimeter into a circuit and uh, do some measurements with it. Okay, now let's do that in the uh, next part. Okay, part two is part one. Part two, we're going to take you through measuring voltage.